Can you see me? Hello. Welcome to... It's a little bit cold out. Welcome to Ultralight Trophies. My name's Tyler. You're probably wondering, why is it dark out? Why do we have a Coleman lantern going? Why am I holding a box cutter? Well, let me answer that question. Today, we have bought a... Hold on. Can't hear anything. I can't hear myself. We have bought a clam escape hub escape hub pro thermal with the floor so we're going to be unboxing it out on the ice today we have our coleman lantern going we have a hole drilled we are on the spot we want to be on we're not going to catch any fish we're going to unbox this baby so let's get to it Hub Escape Ice Thermal Floor 1S19. This baby weighs 24 kilograms. Okay. Hold up. Do I? Okay. Do I need this knife? Okay. Holy crap! It's in a huge bag. This thing is massive, by the way. Look at. This thing is bigger than me. 100% bigger than me. Oh. <coughs> Now we don't know what we're gonna do with this. Where's the zipper? I'm gonna see could be it. Oh my, this thing is huge. Yeah. I was not expecting it to be this big. Okay, that's how much, this must just be like extra material that they weren't gonna use, so they used it like to protect it, but look at how much insulation's in there. See that? That's all the insulation stuff, so. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. What in the world? Oh, there we go. Okay. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, this is tied up still. That don't help. Okay. That can come on. Oh, look at There's a whole bunch of them. Is there one on this one? Oh, yeah. Cool. Can you see me? That took way longer than expected. Anyways, we got this baby set up, okay? Let me tell you, that, whoever packaged this one, another train, really, right when I start recording. Every time something loud comes right when I start recording, 100%. We got the tent set up. The roof was tangled inside of the walls. But let me tell you, this place, is freaking huge. I'm going up against the wall. Look how far away that is. That's me reaching out. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. Inform the viewers. Uh, We're close know. to one of the bone landings on the south end. That we are. All right, so I just dropped my camera down. It's got a little LED light on it. And I can see it down at the bottom of the lake. I don't know if you can see that. Here, bounce it. Oh my! Can you see it on the camera? Spinning? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. Fish? Yep. Come on. How's it feel? Week. Looks like he swallowed it. Yeah, he did. You don't know. Good. Put him back. He's got a good meal. Ooh. 
Little update. We got the beers floating. We got the minnows swimming around. As I was saying. Okay, as I was. As I was saying, we got super cold last night. It was like freezing, super windy. First time ever taking this thing down was a giant pain in the ass. Getting it into the bag that it came out of was like booty hole and it was freezing. So we came out here this afternoon now. We caught a bunch of little perch. We caught that one little pike that you saw. We could do that too. So, oh my God, am I white. <laughs> We got the lantern going, we got two bobber rods going. He's got a jigging rod going over there. We got cheap light beer. And yeah, now we're just waiting for the, the night bite to commence. It is now dark out again. Um, I don't know why I always come out here at night because now we got to pack up in the freezing cold again, which is not going to be fun. But uh, yeah, we'll see you when the fish start rolling through again. <laughs> guys it's Tyler I'm in my basin right now just got back from fishing all weekend uh, wasn't too productive so I'm just gonna do a little something to make this more interesting let's talk about how I keep my minnows alive for the whole weekend the whole week so I don't have to buy minnows every weekend because that can get pretty expensive the most important thing is changing the water as often as you possibly can so you pour it out so there's just enough water covering them and then you add cold water to it and that helps them stay alive and then the second thing this is the important part is one of these what this does is it uses one of these stones and it injects oxygen into the water and that's so they uh well they need oxygen to live they need oxygen and they need fresh water because if you don't change the water then ammonia ammonia will build up in there and then they'll get ammonia poisoning and die. So it's just, it's pretty much the same thing as a fish tank. You gotta keep the water fresh. If you have a filter, like a tank for a filter, you could set that up and that'd be awesome, but this is the most important thing and changing the water. Your minnows can last weeks, months, and if you keep them fed, pretty much indefinitely, so.